Arnival coming back is a real boost to the department, um, especially uh, getting the public back involved with the department. During COVID, we weren't able to do our outreaches, our dinners, our auctions, our uh, raffles, things like that, and especially the carnival. Uh, and really, you have to stay connected to your community because if you don't stay connected, then they don't really know what you do. A lot of the people out here don't realize that we're an all-volunteer outfit. Some people that come here from other jurisdictions think that we're all career people. And this helps to reinforce that everybody here is a volunteer and that community involvement is needed not only for fundraising but for actually running the calls. It feels amazing to have this carnival, especially since I'm a mother of two and it's a huge experience for them. And it's like being welcomed home with a big hug. Everyone is just generally happy to be out, happy to see faces they haven't seen in years. It's amazing. We had a fantastic parade with a lot of neat different entries that um, everyone enjoyed. The entire part of 211 had people on both sides and after the parade everyone came flooding onto the carnival grounds. We had a large crowd. Amosville, as you may know, sits in three counties. And the carnival always brings people uh, to the fire department grounds from every one of those counties, as well as the rest of Rappahannock County. Last night, there were so many faces, so many familiar faces that have not had an opportunity to come together for the last two years. So it's a huge community building opportunity. Um, people needed this for many reasons, aside from supporting the fire department, which we greatly need, uh, people just needed it for their souls just to come back together as a community. We've missed that over the last two years.